What's up, weirdo? Shea Tree Surgeon here with the one and only Shay Lisi. Gave me a ride up to Birch Harley Davidson in her gray Kia Soul, not on a motorcycle. She's still cool though. Because today is the day we pick up Road King Kong. Officially broken in, had its first service, and now we can really get on that thing. And I think Shay Lisi's gonna try out a couple bikes today. Cause I wanna show you guys something. I wanna show you, like everyone goes like, oh, if you're a short girl, get a Sportster. I have heard that literally so many times, it's ridiculous. I have more times than you can count. Get a Sportster, get a Sportster, get a Sportster. Let me tell you, I don't think people understand it. Yes, okay, if you're short, you can ride a Sportster, but what's short, 5'5", five, 5'4"? Five, five, well, I'm about to show you right now what Shay Lisi looks like on a Harley Davidson Sportster, so you guys can maybe stop saying that. All right, here it is. And I do, like, I mean, 48s aren't my favorite bikes because I like a skinny front tire. Okay. But this thing is pretty cool. Here's Shay Lisi next like, to the bike. No, 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 I it looks like when you sit, maybe you will be able to fit on that. How I don't know. Wide it is here. It's an inseam oh, thing. It's, yeah. I've it's really what it ends up being. It's not how tall you are. You could be freaking 5'5". Five, five. That's Cotton. That's Hank Hill's, yeah. Hank Hill's dad, oh maybe. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> You got cotton legs, oh my girl. God. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, let's Google how tall he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's 5 foot and I am exactly 5 foot, so I am the... Dude, you're the same height as Cotton once his legs got blown off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, like we said, it's an inseam thing. So throw a leg over that thing and let's see. Right. Let's see how it goes. Actually, you could you could totally ride that. No, I could actually totally ride this. <laughs> Dude, I'm so wrong. I thought we were gonna come in here and be yeah. like, there's no way she can ride it. I'm like, oh, yeah, you never mind. Ride this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, I just okay, got proven well. wrong. <laughs> hey, you know what? I won't put it in the video. We could just go like yeah. find another motorcycle and we could be like, oh look, this other sports shirt is too tall for her. But uh No, this is like first one, this one totally fits fine. That's exactly what I was gonna put the, vi the video was gonna be about too. It was like, there's no way she can ride a sports shirt. Absolutely she yeah, can. No, so, this one's like weight isn't even that bad either. Like, and you can lean these bars back a little bit just yeah, to make like, it better like, for you. I still got these short ass arms. So, like, literally, if I'm sitting all the way back where it's supposed to be. Yeah, see, so yeah. you have to come back to stay here. Yeah, right. like to comfortably ride. That's I have not the to problem here. at all. That's yeah. just these four screws. You just loosen them up and yeah, slide yeah, right yeah. back. And also, those four controls might be an issue, too. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. okay, you can stand it up. <laughs> <laughs> but the so, forward controls are going to be an issue. Mids, yeah. yeah, definitely mid controls and some pullbacks. You need some pullback risers. <laughs> but yeah, but I don't know, that, dude. No, we I could, think uh, that fits are pretty good. Yeah. Dang, dude, I, I just got got, man. I was in here, we were talking about the car ride over. I was like, everybody says Sportster. Like, it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, like, all the time people have asked me to do Sportster stuff, and I'm like, I had came here last year, like, pre-COVID stuff, and sat on probably three or four Sportsters, and we just gave up, because... Yeah, we like, couldn't find a single one. With, but they put the mats underneath it, so you can see how tall you are underneath the bike, and even with and those... With, like, the three-inch rise, yeah, it was like, still it too was high. still too high. Is this thing lowered? Okay, let's, let's check out a standard Sportster. I I don't know if I'm comfortable standing this one up. It's really heavy. Okay, there we go. Okay, this one does have the mid control. So you're a little, you're a little higher on that one. Let's see. Is that okay? So that's I feel like with the risers, I might be able to actually punch with this one. Because like I'm not that high off, right. off the ground. Right, or like a lower seat. Yeah, yeah you can also take this the seat because that's yeah. a very thick seat. All right, okay. so he's got the you're front wheel. However, the bars are pulled back to where yeah. she needs and yeah. the controls like are in a better that. place as well. There you go. Like, Maybe even another yeah. back. But yeah. like a lot of times I'm used to having to lean forward. I mean it's not the most comfortable, but like I'm used to it. Like I got short arms. But I think this one was like one inch, just one inch down in the back. And you would be like set to go. You'd be able to flat foot it. You gotta feel comfortable. Everybody says that. They go, Oh, you can tippy toe, that's fine, but uh you're the one who's riding the motorcycle. You yeah. should feel comfortable on it. And that's honestly the reason I will never ever ride like what are they called? The, the like speed bikes. Oh, Sport bike. Sport bike. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's like, adorable. Look, Speed bike. I don't know. <laughs> By the way, if you guys haven't seen previous videos, she does ride. She has a Suzuki Savage 650 that she rides all the frick over the place. And she's been riding probably a lot longer than some of you guys. Seven years. Eight Seven years. years. How old am I? <laughs> Seven, eight years. Okay. Well, I had to eat my words on that one. Um, yeah, I talked all that. 
a Harley Davidson, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the way here, she was like, yeah, I don't like Harleys. And I was like, I get it, dude. They're, they're too big for you. And everybody yeah, says like, ride one. And uh, all of a sudden. Yeah. And it's frustrating because like everybody tells me to ride a Harley and it just doesn't fit me ever. Yeah, and we just got proven wrong today. Yeah. This is going to say, this seems so set up. <laughs> I wish I had filmed before this because this seems 100% set up. Like we were about to go in here and be like, oh, yeah, it's not going to fit her and go to Bert's and they'll take care of you. And it does fit her. Like, I, we literally, the whole idea behind this video was that it, she wasn't going to be able to fit on it. We were going to have to modify one for her. Anyway, <laughs> let's go pick up the Road King and go get something to eat. Whew. That just is not a sound you ever get tired of. Oh, feels good to be back on the spike, man. Take it easy, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the videos I've been putting out, the video before this, I just went 3,200 miles in four days on my 1987 Honda Goldwing. And believe it or not, even though everybody says those things are so comfortable, I'm more comfortable on this bike. Maybe minus the bars. Uh, the bars are a little are aggressive, that's for sure. But uh, I'm more comfortable on this bike than I was on the Goldwing. <laughs> that's definitely a lot different than the Goldwing. <laughs> it's funny when you say, man, I've got this Harley Davidson that handles so much better than a Honda does, but man, the Goldwing was, uh, I was just going for the Goldwing <laughs> indicator over here. <laughs> you can't, you spent 3,200 miles on that bike in four days. Uh, it takes a, a little getting used to going back to the Road King, but it's a fun getting used to going back to it because I'm just like, oh, the power. So when I say I'm more comfortable on the Road King than I was on the Goldwing, here's the reason why. I mean, obviously the fairing on the Goldwing is amazing and it's got all the right luggage and the handlebars are great, but th really the, the issue is the Goldwing is made for somebody who is short and skinny, which sounds weird because it's such a big bike. But if you're over six foot tall and you're a big guy like I am, the Gold wing is not going to be the most comfortable option because the way the cylinders are opposed it just doesn't leave you a lot of room to stretch out so i just i felt like the seat was really uncomfortable and sloped forward which i didn't like uh, it looks like it would have great back support but it doesn't i don't know man i was cramped i mean i did those miles anyway because i ain't no pussy but <laughs> i wasn't the most comfortable experience I've ever experienced. Oh, sitting here at this traffic like always gives me flashbacks. It also feels good to be able to take a corner without worrying about my front end pogoing all over the place like it was on the Goldwing. That was terrifying. Anyway, this is obviously a different bike than the Goldwing. I took the trip on the Goldwing because I wanted to show you guys that it was possible to do a trip like that on a very low budget bike. I only paid two grand for the Goldwing. I just love bikes, man. I love cheap motorcycles. I love expensive motorcycles slow motorcycles, fast motorcycles, mixed motorcycles, little motorcycles. I don't know, man. 20 years of riding. I just rode 3,200 miles in four days. Literally got back yesterday. And I'm still excited to get on a motorcycle and ride. I don't know. I've been doing YouTube, gosh, I think like six or seven years now. Just about motorcycles. Man, I ain't sick of them yet. I keep waiting for that day to come for me to say something like, man, I'm just like, I don't feel like riding. I'm sick of motorcycles. It ain't come yet, and I ride a motorcycle damn near every day. We were talking like, oh, Shaylisi isn't going to fit 
on a sportster and then she does it's gonna seem like i i said that. i swear i didn't because she sat on some a different day and she didn't fit on them i wanted to go show like hey by the way just you should just recommend a sports to every short girl like they can ride one but then she sat on one she was like oh wait a second i i think i can actually touch on this well that gives us a cool goal for shay Lisi's channel if you didn't know Shay Lisi is starting her very own YouTube channel. It's going to it's it's going to be up right now. If you didn't know, Shay's my niece. Uh, if you do watch the channel, she's been in a bunch of videos, so you've probably seen her around. She's got a freaking attitude on her. I think everyone keeps going. Shay, make a YouTube channel. Make a YouTube channel. Right now, people have just been following her on Instagram, and everybody's asking for it, and I agree with them. She's she's freaking sassy. She's got a smart mouth. Uh, she's not afraid to say what she thinks, sometimes to her detriment, just like me. <laughs> I think she's going to be a natural on YouTube, and of course, I'm going to help her make some videos, and it's going to be a really good time. So I'll have a link down in the description. Go subscribe. Show her some love. I know she's going to do all sorts of content on there, but there's going to be a whole lot of motorcycle content. I, like I said, I think one of our, our first projects on her channel is going to be outfitting a Sportster to fit a short girl. Because even though she could touch on the ground on those, she does feel comfortable with her feet flat on the ground. And obviously the bars are way too far forward for her reach. So definitely going to be some lowering involved, some different bars, some different pegs. But I'm not sure what all goes in making a motorcycle like okay for a short person to ride because I'm not short. Like I said, my, my problem comes from being too tall for some motorcycles, even though I'm only 6'1", I'm not that tall. So I think it'll be a fun change of pace to get a motorcycle and outfit it for her at five foot tall to show. I know there's a lot of girls who watch this who are short and a lot of guys who watch this who are five foot tall too, who would be interested in what it takes to make a motorcycle totally okay to ride at five foot tall with a very short end seat. I sure love being up in the mountains, but I love my home state, man. I just, I love Florida. Specifically, I love Tampa. I can't imagine not living here. You know, even though I loved it. I loved being in North Carolina and West Virginia and uh, New York and being up, up in the altitude and all those Caribbean mountain roads. I just, I, what can I say? I'm still just a dirty hobo swamp wizard at heart. And I love it here in my hometown. Dude, the 131 at its full potential. Well, not its full potential. This still has a warranty tune on it, but what do you guys say? It's time to take Road King Kong up to Orlando and put it head to head against Blockhead's Lowrider S. <laughs> I think uh, Blockhead has a non-warranty tune on his and he also uh, weighs a lot less than me and his bike weighs less than this bike. So I think he's pretty much got it in the bag, but don't ever let it be said that Shade Tree Surgeon is afraid to lose. I don't care how disadvantaged I am. I'm still gonna give her all she's got. I don't mind being the underdog. You know why? Cause I don't care if I have a slow bike. Racing is always just still a lot of fun. If you like racing, like especially motor racing, racing dirt bikes, drag race, track racing, whatever you name it. If the only thing you're concerned about is winning, <laughs> in my opinion, you're doing it wrong. I just love to race. I don't have to win. I just, I just like going fast, man. As the old saying goes, the very first motorcycle race occurred directly after the second motorcycle in existence was built. It's just human nature, baby. We're just a bunch of hairless monkeys that like doing dangerous stuff. Well, I don't know. I'm a pretty hairy monkey. <laughs> but some, some of y'all hairless monkeys. Yami Noob, he's a hairless monkey. I am a hairy monkey. Speaking of old Yami Noob and Motonosity and everyone else and Tim Kreitz and Jake the Garden Snake and all the all my all my Texas boys. Biking bird, I'm probably forgetting somebody, don't get your feelings hurt. Texas, I think Texas is next on the list for Goldwing Adventures. Or maybe, maybe FXR Adventures. It is Texas after all. I should take the Harley. Currently I was so consumed with making that trip, making that 3,200 mile trip on the Goldwing that my FXR is still, like I've got a half finished video about it and it's still in a million pieces on the lift. I really need to get back to work on that thing because I want to take a trip on that one too. So I've shown what it's like to take a touring trip on a cheap, supposed to be reliable bike. It did break down a few times. Now I want to show a, a video on what it's like to take a long trip on an absolutely basket case POS barf party, horrible, crusty old Harley Davidson and show, you know what? You can do that too. Or maybe you can't, I'll totally fail. Only one way to find out. Round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. 
My grandpa used to say that on exit ramps and on ramps all the time. I hear it in his voice in my head every time I go down one. God, this is a freaking, just a absolutely brutal machine. Currently headed up to Tripp's Diner, meeting up with Shaylisi there to have lunch and discuss some of the videos, her first videos. We haven't even filmed one yet that are coming out for her YouTube channel. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like really, really excited about this. Cause let me tell you, I mean, obviously it's only in person, but I think she's funnier than I am. I think that she's gonna make for an absolutely hilarious channel. She's also a lot meaner than I am. So <laughs> she's actually gonna have to watch that one. You guys, you guys think I'm raw? You think I'll say anything? You just freaking wait. Oh, that shrimp and grits is calling my name. Apparently everybody wanted to eat trips today. All right, trips is freaking packed and I don't feel like waiting. So, <laughs> I mean, I always take you guys to social house. So I feel a little bad about it. I try to treat you somewhere different, but whatever, man, I love their food. So, all right, good times, good food at the social house. I didn't uh, show the inside of it because you guys have seen it a lot, <laughs> but uh, got a lot of exciting stuff coming on the channel, both with Road King and Shay Lisi and her bikes and some of the fun, fun stuff that we're doing. But that's another video for another day. Till next time, y'all. Keep it weird.